Alrighty, let's watch this in full first. The sound. I know you're strong. But accepting help is its own kind of strength. Cool, cool, cool. I let's turn off the sound here. You have a couple caveats here in email. Uh, you work in IK, so there needs to be an IK pass. Uh, yeah, like here. But it's stuck, but you know that and you mentioned that. Um, and you feel like it's kind of stiff or too flat and smoothed out. It's pretty cool though, I like it. I'd be careful when you have something like that when a character goes forward and starts to ease in, where we have a little tangent right there on that nose. But then it makes me think about that where you could have. I know you're strong. Okay, I was just thinking that could there be a progression where there is distance here? And when she says that, you don't go as far, but you close the gap a bit. And then when he gets up, then we're here. I'm just wondering if we can play a bit more in terms of body distance. But that it's not like there's anything wrong with this. This would just be a, a different version. There's always a, a difference between actual notes and like, well, let's do this. And it just makes it different. Because again, there's a lot that I already like. I need like the, the animation is already in a good spot. Only thing I would, I would change is stuff like that, where it just feels like such a soft nose. And it almost kind of distracts a bit from the seriousness of the clip. I know. Blah, blah, blah. It's always like you go blah, 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 in that nose. But there's a good change, you know, in contrast and posture. I like that she puts her arm around him and then they get closer here. And I like that he looks up at the end there. And there's a good separation of he looks, we look at her, she has that expression, I look back at him, and he has that. That change there. It could just be maybe a slightly bigger and with maybe a slight head rotation over. Again, there's something for, for me where, and you do it, like if you look at this, right? You have this, and then you have that in terms of how the gap is changing. And with that smile, it could also, also be like a little bit of rotation in the head over. So we're closing that gap even a bit more. I'm not sure if you need that many sob reactions. It could just be something where it's... He's like that with this ginormous hand. <laughs> and has one sob like that. And then it's more like smaller tremors going forward. And I'm not sure you need those... That old big one. Those two, right? Boom, boom, without the sound. Unless you can find some sound and add that to it. I know. One thing you can also play with is potentially, this is going to break things, but you also mentioned email that you're okay with letting go of keys, but there could be something where you could have the knees closer together. He's more closed off. And as it, as it continues, even with like some changes, especially during this, because there's, there's a slight, there's a big change in there in terms of posture and all the movement. And it could be interesting that during that time, imagine knees are a bit closer together. He opens them up. So like he just visually opens himself up to, to her feedback. And then when he goes back down, it's almost like, I don't know. Like he's like, oh, yeah, what? I don't know about this. And then his, his knees go back closer together. I mean, you want to avoid like massive in and out, in and out. But that's potentially something you can play with. And then when she does that, that push over here then that knee comes closer to her this knee will go out a little bit and then you have that that could be one way I know you're strong and you could even experiment with having her arm down like lower it could already be behind him but it could be there and then when she does that, that's when she brings it up. Although I do like this. 
she's already comforting him again i'm just throwing out different versions like to me there's nothing massively wrong with this it really kind of depends how far you want to go and how how big you are uh in favor of changes i mean you mentioned that you're okay with all kind of changes but like are you open to things where are they or is he seated but she is not she just finishes where you know she is just like that just about to sit down arm down and then sits down into this like maybe they were you know maybe she was observing standing and she realizes oh he's he's about to break down and that's during this moment and then she sits down so you have that that sob then she finishes the sitting i know and that could almost lead into this like she finishes her sitting while she starts that line and that's where she ends up and that's why he has that big look of hey you sat next to me and then she does that i mean that could be interesting too you can almost experiment with a slight like, camera adjustment where she sits down and the camera kind of falls a little bit again i mean there are many many ways to make it different and that's the thing it's not like like you have to do that right these are just suggestions that make it different that's kind of my my current thought on this i know you're strong but accepting help is its own kind of strength because i think after that her energy not being too high works with her tone of voice accepting help is its own kind of strength. And you can experiment with the, with the end here. Strength. Where instead of her just smiling, she could, as he looks up, again, get herself closer. Just kind of bridging that gap a bit more and then so that they end up, you know, maybe this close. But I'm going to leave it at that. I feel like... So let me know what you think about this because i'm not really concerned about your animation skills there's a lot of cool stuff already. there's a nice you know they're nice poses they're nice hand poses the facial stuff is already there like this there's, there's nothing where i go like oh okay okay um this is also your first submission where i feel like okay but you need to work on pops and arcs and i don't think there's anything technically wrong where i'm not i'm not concerned you already have nice details here it's its own kind of you know stuff like that like, for me it's more like an exploration of ideas so I'm going to leave it at that. And then you let me know what you think about those ideas and how far you want to go with things without you change things or leave it after hearing all this where you go, you know what? I'm just going to leave it the way it is and just finish and polish it, which is also fine. So let me know what your thoughts are on all of that. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right? Thank you.